So, hi, welcome everyone to the Dell Technologies user community. I'm Michelle Best, the co-lead for DTUC, and I will be your host for today's session. We're thrilled to bring you this much requested webinar. Um, we're going to dive deeper today into the exciting topic of AI PCs. So back in April, I, I don't know how many of you on here joined the session, but we were joined by IDC for a high level discussion about the key challenges and requirements companies face in preparing workers to thrive in their AI environment. And the feedback was great, but we also received many questions asking for more details, um, things like specific use cases, examples of what's available right now. Um, so today we're going to take a closer look at these topics and clarify what we mean when we talk about an AI PC, what hybrid AI entails and how our partnerships, including with Verizon, are helping you to leverage the latest AI applications and technology to their fullest potential. Now, in today's hybrid work environment where AI is rapidly becoming essential to productivity, the need for seamless mobility and connectivity has never been greater. With AI PCs entering the market this year and the increasing demand for flexible work solutions, having robust connectivity is key to unlocking the full potential of both on-device and cloud-based AI. So today we're going to learn about how Dell's AI PCs integrated with mobile broadband and connected to Verizon's 5G network can empower you to work securely and harness AI from virtually anywhere. And we're really excited to explore these topics. As always, we welcome your feedback. We'll be sending out a survey at the end. If there's interest, we'd be very happy to dive deeper into this technology for future sessions. So please let us know. And just before I hand over to our speakers, if you could keep yourselves on mute, um, if you want to pop any questions to me, just use the Q&A button. Um, mind that you are being recorded. This session will be uploaded um, when we finish, probably within the next 24 hours. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed the session today. So without further ado, I will hand over to the panelists. Yeah, hi everyone. Um, my name is Maria Renton Abu. I am your um, Dell messaging lead for AI client and solutions here at Dell Technologies. Hi there, I'm Ryan Johnson. I'm a product manager in the cloud client and software solutions group at Dell focusing on connected PC initiatives. And I'm Marissa Wilkins, Senior Director of Connected Laptops and Emerging Devices in the Verizon Business Group. Looking forward to the discussion today. Sounds good. Well, let's dive right in. You know, one of the main things that dictate daily work is the device. And, you know, we anticipate that nearly 60% of all new PCs will be equipped with AI capabilities as early as 2027. And this isn't just about saying, you know, staying ahead. It's really about redefining efficiency and collaboration in every task that we undertake. But here's where it gets more fascinating. You know, employees aren't just passively waiting for, you know, company changes, or they're not waiting for that, you know, official AI app or tool to use. They're actively integrating AI into their work routines right now without official advice from their companies. In fact, three out of four employees today are already utilizing work. AI at work. And, you know, what's so surprising about it is that this trend where, you know, a Microsoft index report called, called it bring your own AI. Here at Dell, we call it shadow AI. And, you know, this is why governance is such an important thing. What's surprising here is that, you know, it's not just, you know, millennials or Gen Z or Gen X that are actively doing this. 73% of boomers are also adapting to this trend as well. What these statistics highlight is that there's a shift towards autonomous and empowered ways of working, but it also underscores the importance of companies like us, like Dell and Verizon, to make sure that we support this transformation. So by embracing AI, we can unlock new levels of productivity, creativity, and collaboration, ensuring that we stay at the forefront of innovation. So if you go to the next slide, we're going to dive right in 
to and be a little bit more technical. So um, let's take a st step back and really get back into the basics. What exactly is an AI PC? So at its core, an AI PC is a personal computer that's specifically designed to optimize artificial intelligence and machine learning tasks. It's basically the key to unlocking, you know, the potential of generative AI, chatbots, and advanced data analysis. Here at Dell, we define AI, um, we define AI PCs as systems that are uniquely equipped with dedicated AI um, processors that helps us run AI workloads more seamlessly. So this could be an NPU, which is your neural processing unit, or a discrete GPU, the graphics processing unit, which is available on our AI workstations. Um, if you take a quick look at the journey and evolution of AI PCs, it's actually quite fascinating because the architecture of PCs hasn't really changed in a few years. Um, traditional PCs have primarily relied on CPUs and GPUs to boost performance. And, you know, these components are great for general compute tasks, but they can also encounter limitations when tackling the demanding workloads of AI applications. So this is where the NPU comes in, the neural processing unit. The NPUs are specialized processors designed specifically for neural network operations. So what this means is they bring an unprecedented level of efficiency and capability. It allows, um, this is what allows AI PCs to handle complex AI tasks with remarkable ease and speed. And this advancement really um, transforms how machines learn, how they make decisions, and it vastly outperforms systems that just relies on your traditional PC architecture. So the end all be all is that an AI PC was created so that your device can continue working seamlessly when heavy AI workloads are integrated. Because if you um, if you look at your PC right now and look at all of the applications that you have open, imagine each and every application having an AI an AI capability integrated. That's what's going to weigh. Um, that's going to weigh on your old device. So to truly grasp the power of an AI PC, we also must understand another term that keeps being thrown out, which is TOPS. TOPS stands for Trillion Operations Per Second. This metric basically measures the processing capability of the system. Mm -hmm. So the higher the TOPS, the more data an AI PC can process, making it incredibly adept in handling those sophisticated computations for AI and machine learning operations. So Let's move on to another conversation. Why would you need an AI PC? So if you go to the next slide, now it's it's really the time to refresh because technology has advanced um, since the 2020 PC surge. And the 2020 is the time where everyone started buying the PCs because of the pandemic. But it basically leaves many systems about four years behind the curve and every moment really lost to sluggish hardware is a missed opportunity for innovation and progress. By embracing AI PCs, you can really supercharge your organization's productivity and really empower your teams to accomplish more faster. <clears throat> Excuse me. One thing that is also happening is Windows support is ending um, next year in October, mm -hmm. and systems will become increasingly more vulnerable by to security threats. So transitioning to Windows 11 offers numerous benefits, including advanced AI capabilities, causing that step change, um, causing really that step change capabilities within your system. So. Uh, with new AI PCs, you can get AI and enhance AI capabilities. You can you can reduce um, security risk because with on device data processing occurs locally. Um, I've talked about energy efficiency. Integrating a, an NPU into PCs really boosts efficiency by specializing in AI and machine learning tasks. You know, AI PCs optimize for parallel processing. It consumes less power. It generates less 
heat and it extends battery life compared to traditional CPUs. In fact, our new Dell Copilot Plus PCs has about 24 hours of battery life. Um, and lastly, it's very cost effective because investing in AI enabled PCs in the long run can really offset that initial investment um, by reducing cloud compute expenses and enabling more work to be done in house. So consider this analogy with AI PCs perform better and faster because they have the right hardware and processors to handle, you know, AI workloads. So imagine if you're running a marathon and if you run it in flip flops, sure, you can still finish, but it will take longer. Your feet will probably hurt because, you know, cushioning is not so great and stability is not so great. However, if you have an AI PC or sneakers, you can complete the marathon, you can complete the race faster with less strain on your feet. So in this, in this fast paced environment, organizations can't afford to delay the transition to AI PCs. We're already seeing about 76% of IT decision makers already believe that employees with AI PCs will significantly outperform those without them. So if you don't equip your team with AI power tools, your company will fall behind as your competition surges. So let's talk about making this real. One thing that we've heard, so if we go to the next slide, one thing that we've heard a lot from customers is that how do we make this real? I want to see this. I want to see tangible results. What applications are already utilizing the, the NPU or the discrete GPU? So as we delve into this, we're reminded that this technology is really, you know, evolve like rapidly evolving because hundreds of independent software vendors are actively enhancing their applications with AI features and efficiencies. Right now, ISVs out there across the globe, they're hard at work. They're busy weaving in AI capabilities into software because, you know, whether it's optimizing workflows or automating tasks or even enhancing user experiences, AI is definitely becoming an integral part of modern applications. So let's look at a few use cases here. Collaboration software is something that has significantly evolved with AI capabilities. So things like intelligent audio or even background blur are things that, you know, we've already considered table stakes, but these are actually utilizing um, AI, AI technology like computer vision and machine learning capabilities that help, you know, intelligently identify which noises to block when you're in a call or better graphic processing for, for background blur. This is your device basically learning how to do things better so that you have a better collaboration experience. And as this, you know, as this technology becomes better, becomes more sophisticated, so will the workload on your device. And that's exactly what Zoom does. Within a Zoom experience, video conferencing can, you know, can now use AI-driven background segmentation, um, which means it can accurately now distinguish between you and your background so that it can apply the blur seamlessly. But even though like background blur is something that we've considered like an everyday, again, everyday table stakes, right? Um, without an NPU, it's being offloaded into your CPU. That's why sometimes people will say, it's like, oh, my Zoom crashed, because your CPU is working around the clock to make sure your, your collaboration setup is running. Um, it, it, this is like the NPU is just much more efficient in workloads like these. Another um, standout use case is real-time language translation. This can be found um, in our new Dell um, Copilot Plus PCs. So with NPU, the new Copilot Plus PCs can instantly translate up to 40 plus languages into English, facilitating that smooth private communication across borders. And this is ideal for travelers for, and, and global businesses. The average knowledge worker will harness on-device AI software for tasks like 
like this, like real time language translations and enhanced productivity tools. But they will also be leveraging cloud based AI for collaboration projects and comprehensive data analysis. For example, with the Dell Copilot Plus PC, um, I've, I've like the 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 translation feature is actually an on device thing. So you don't need the internet for it. Um, so when you're having a meeting with with someone, you can you can seamlessly just just uh, use that that certain software. But uh, Microsoft also offers M365 Copilot, which this one is a cloud based assistant that's integrated into into your M365 software. It can you know automate meeting summaries. It can help you draft emails. So. You know, the average worker will use both. The average worker will use on device software for some AI tasks and some will use, you know, cloud based assistant for more, for some of the mo more data intensive tasks. Adobe is another great example because Adobe Lightroom and Premiere Pro are making editing content faster, easier and more precise um, than ever before because of AI. With Lightroom, um, you can now fine tune your images with incredible detail. They have this new AI masking feature that lets you effortlessly select objects and backgrounds with just a tap of your finger. Um, but it also has an integrated AI assistant that runs in the cloud. So again, it's it's a hybrid a hybrid kind of uh, situation here where a person will be using both cloud, um, both cloud capabilities and on device to have that meaningful AI experience. And this is where 5G technology really becomes a catalyst that amplifies these capabilities because, you know, it has rapid uh, data transfer, low, lat low latency. What 5G does, it, it enhances the performance of AI PCs. Um, and the fusion of AI PCs and 5G technology is really driving like that era of efficiency and connectivity. It's reshaping um, industries as we speak. So to talk more about that, I'll hand it off to Ryan. Thank you, Maria. That was a fantastic overview of AI PCs. And thank you for teeing up the 5G topic. I want to talk a little bit more about 5G and how that's relevant and important to the AI PC story. So in today's modern workforce, work can happen from anywhere, whether that's at your kid's baseball game, that's at the airport or on the road. And while getting work done on the go, not only, like Maria said, is on-device AI important, but cloud-based AI applications as well. For example, recently I have Copilot on my device and I like to use it to transcribe and take notes on calls. Or you may have a use case where uh, you want to use cloud-based AI from one of the numerous applications that Maria mentioned. To deliver seamless, secure connectivity on the go, Dell provides the option to add 5G mobile broadband to your devices. It works like 5G connectivity on your cell phone, so you can be connected from virtually anywhere. And this capability is across most of Dell's commercial laptop portfolio. I am happy to announce that specific to our Copilot AI Copilot Plus PCs, the Latitude 7455 does offer an optional upgrade for 5G. And by adding 5G on your AI PCs now, that ensures that your devices are future-proofed and ready for both the on-device as well as cloud-based AI applications. So let's go to the next slide and we'll drill into some more of the details and benefits of 5G PCs. When I think of the overall benefits, I, I like to think of it in three buckets. That is simple, seamless, and secure. And 5G PCs make it very easy to stay connected. When you think about alternatives, you can use your phone as a hotspot, you can use an external router, you can connect to public Wi-Fi. There are different challenges and risks with each of those. One of the more common alternatives and substitutes that we see is tethering from your phone. But there, as we talk to customers, some of the challenges that happen with that can be sometimes employees don't want to have to use their personal data plan to connect, or they may have issues if it's at the end of the month and they're running to data limitations or caps on their data plan. Finally, some companies even find if they're reimbursing employees for that phone uses, that's an extra bill that they have to manage and pay. It's a lot simpler to have everything on a single device 
that you can use to be connected. Number two, seamless. 5G PCs make it really easy to be productive from almost anywhere. Recently, Dell ran a study where we gave devices to several companies that had never tried connected PCs before, but they had remote and hybrid workers to see what benefit it would provide them. And across the board, what we found is those workers said they felt they were a lot more productive when they were using 5G PCs because they didn't have to worry about different connectivity options and whether they would be able to have a connection. Finally, security. We know security is always a topic that's top of mind for IT admins. And, and this is one of the biggest benefits of 5G PCs. When one of the um, biggest risks for um, on-the-go professionals is public Wi-Fi. According to one study, almost 40% of individuals using public Wi-Fi have had their information compromised. Mobile broadband is end-to-end -end encrypted to provide the most secure connectivity option. Dell and Verizon recently commissioned a study with a security firm, IOActive, to dig deeper and look at and rank the, the security benefits of different wireless connection options. And you can see at the top kind of a summary of least secure to most secure. Not surprisingly, public Wi-Fi was the least secure connectivity option. On the other end of the spectrum, a private 5G network like Verizon offers is the most secure connectivity option. And a couple other interesting things that came out of this study for me. One, because I hear a lot, you know, hey, I use public Wi-Fi, but I use VPN. And even using VPN, that's not going to be as secure as a 5G network. Or if you're tethering from your phone, that's also not going to be quite as secure as a 5G network. So really, 5G is the best way to keep your data secure and should be a consideration when you're looking at purchasing an AI PC. And with that in mind, Dell has recently expanded our partnership with Verizon to make it easier for customers to purchase and activate service on 5G PCs. Through that partnership, you can receive extra help activating service and discounts from Verizon. So I, I love to pass it over to Marissa to speak more about the advantages that Verizon brings to the space as a leading provider for 5G. Thanks for teeing that up, Ryan and Maria. As, as Ryan said, I want to close us out here with how Verizon ties these stories we've talked about together today. Uh, so flipping to the next slide, modern work. We've talked about how hybrid AI use cases and workflows are going are, are the future of business on Windows 11 with the new devices from Dell. And as we are all familiar with at this point, we're being challenged with being able to work from virtually anywhere. That paired with the ever increasing focus on enterprise wide security, as we read in the news every day about this data breach and that, uh, you know, cyber attack. That's where Verizon business and our 5G networks can help to enable all three of these outcomes for business customers. Uh, as Ryan mentioned, we are continuing to partner together to make this not just a secure and uh, productive experience, but also a simple experience when it comes to the activation and procurement of your data lines for these devices. So I want to flip to the next slide to talk a little bit more about why you want to partner with Verizon. Not going to get sales pitchy, but this is important because you, when you're selecting the network of choice, just like selecting, you know, which Wi-Fi network you're going to connect to, there is a standard, public versus private, Verizon versus not Verizon. <laughs> uh, when it comes to the data security, Ryan touched on the points about unsecured public Wi-Fi networks that leave you at risk. And uh, IDC Mobile Security Survey did find that six, nearly 60% of enterprises believe that mobile technologies present a risk to cybersecurity. So this is where connecting the uh, PCs to a secured encrypted 5G network can help to reduce the risk of uh, cyber attacks compared to these other connectivity options. When it comes to being productive, you need to be able to be connected anywhere. And so that's where Verizon's network covers, 4G network covers 99% of Americans and our 5G ultra wideband service reaches over 250 million people in the US. So I think last I checked, that was about two thirds of the US population or the two thirds of the potential market size that we can cover. Uh, and 
as enterprises are continuing to enable remote work and hybrid flexible work environments, we find that 40% of companies are still operating in this work uh, flow, just like Verizon is and Dell is today. And at the end of the day, you need a reliable network because it's not just about being able to be connected, but it's being more reliable than your home fiber network when it goes down. I've personally been able to use this when I have outage power outages or Wi-Fi outages at home, when I'm traveling and on the go, or even when I just need to get things done while I'm working, like getting my car serviced. I was able to work from the car dealer without interrupting my workflows. So when it comes to reliability, Root Metrics State of 5G report from the first half of this year voted Verizon as America's most reliable 5G network again, and we continue to be the backbone for these solutions for enterprises. But don't just take it from me. Uh, flipping to the next slide, I want to close this out with some examples of our real world customers and what they report back for benefits from this solution. Enabling their employees with connected laptops has allowed companies in all industries to benefit. As we see here on the insurance industry, for example, we have a customer that was having issues with data usages on other tools and inefficient work tools that were not powered by the operating system on their previous device. Mm -hmm. By switching over to Windows powered PCs, they were able, able to increase the productivity of their uh, field agents by one to two more claims process per day and overall improving the security and data management of these devices because when they're connected it means the IT folks can get a hold of that device from when it comes to hey I've got an issue with an application or I need to update drivers whatever it may be having that cellular connectivity means that IT management becomes more seamless than relying on other connectivity methods. In the healthcare industry, real-time care is becoming more and more critical. And we see that uh, a customer of ours had was looking for ways to better uh, improve their data sharing and remote health management. And by enabling their uh, employees with 5G connected PCs, they were able to provide real time communications by enabling the uh, employees to work from where they needed to get their work done. And if we think about the future of this, we know that many healthcare systems are deploying 5G private networks because we know how cellular functionality works within a concrete box of a hospital system. So that's where the combination of both private and public network solutions can help to ensure seamless connectivity and secure connectivity connectivity regardless of where the user is within the building. Sorry, it's just physics. I can't, I can't lie about that. Um, and then from a service industry perspective, this one was particularly impressive for us. Um, they were able to, um, looking for ways to uh, improve their productivity uh, tied to supply chain inefficiencies. So again, they saw a switch from an alternative operating system to a Windows PC, uh, which I believe they quoted was over $12 million in savings by being able to deploy this new software on their Windows PCs um, and also increase their digital share and market share uh, by being a better company to uh, engage with from their end customers. So overall, we've seen a lot of different applications for these PCs, and I'm really excited to see what our partnership between Dell and Verizon can do for you and your businesses. So all, that's what I have. Thank you so much, Marissa. Thank you, Ryan and Maria. Um, I love hearing about the use cases and real world benefits. It really does make it real and kind of puts into context everything we're talking about. So um, yeah, I think it's clear how AI PCs are opening so many possibilities and we have the on-device capabilities allowing AI PCs to handle those complex AI tasks with ease and speed. And then we have Verizon providing the connectivity, which is essential for leveraging 5G. For those times when users are away from their usual workplace, needing to collaborate in all of the other use cases we've just heard. Um, so I have included some further reading uh, and links as QR codes. If you want to scan them now, we'll also send some stuff in our post webinar comms. But I do have a couple of questions uh, coming through in the Q&A box. Uh, feel free to drop any other questions into there if you haven't already. 
Um, I can see Ryan has answered one of them, which was, is the 5G PC also backward compatible with 4G and 3G networks? And the answer is yes, 5G PCs are backwards compatible. Thank you, Ryan, for answering that one. Um, I also have a question. I think this one will be going to Maria. Uh, what kinds of tasks or applications benefit most from AI-enabled PCs? Yeah, no, that's a great question. It's it's actually you've seen like the the NASCAR slide that we've had up, but those are those are just a handful of of partners that we're currently currently working with that's utilizing. Um, started utilizing the NPU. It's really about offloading tasks right now that you see every day. But um, in 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 terms of in terms of that question, it really depends per person. That's one thing that I keep getting asked is like, what is the killer app that will make me super productive? And the answer to that is it depends because that answer will you know will differ from like Michelle to Ryan to like a doctor wanting wanting things automated, wanting to, to, to access patient files, or will, will be different for a legal assistant, wanting a summarized, you know, a chatbot to just magically summarize cases for him or her. So it, it really depends. What this technology does from a hardware perspective is it helps offload those AI, those AI tasks into a different processor so that your computer can still run seamlessly. What 5G offers to the table is that it, it basically provides that, that, cloud, that cloud access and collaboration whenever, because workers obviously don't work at a silo, you're collaborating and you know the person you're collaborating with is usually in a Zoom call or in a, in a Teams call. And that's when 5G really shines and just you know integrating the AI capabilities with what we have off offered now you know it's again it's a mix of hybrid it's it's a hybrid it's hybrid ai that's the world we're going to be marching towards too so you're going to be utilizing you know possibly uh an ai assistant that 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 lives on the cloud that will help you draft an email um but some stuff that you want to keep private like for example you're preparing for a product launch and and this stuff like the 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 marketing and and, and the, the product information needs to be kept on device, then you probably have another AI agent helping you with that that st just stays on device. So again, it depends on the work that you're wanting to do um, and how you're planning to utilize your AI. Thanks, Maria, that's great. And I think I have another one which is gonna be directed at you. So I'll just, um, I'll just go to that one now. Um, how quickly can AI PCs be deployed in an enterprise environment and what's the typical learning curve for employees? Yeah, you know, AI, what, like some studies that I've, that I've um, read up to, like AI is something that can easily be um, adapted. It's easily adaptable because it's, it's, um, it's meant to be this fast technology. I mean, consider Consider when ChatGPT just launched in November 2022, and within, I don't know, like a week or so, it already hit like millions of users. Just that's because it's it's easy. It, you know, it's it's taught it's translating translating tasks in real language. You can you can ask an AI assistant to do things for you and it will do it in in a, that things that usually take, you know, hours and hours can be done in like minutes. So I, I, I've read somewhere that it's not, it's not going to be a long learning curve. In terms of deployment, that really depends on, um, on your organization. I would say that you should reach out to, um, to your Dell rep sales representative. If, if there is an immediate need, I'm sure, um, I'm sure Dell can help you with that. Um, a question that's just popped into the chat. Um, since so many modern laptops are equipped with soldered on non-expandable RAM, would this not make hardware upgrades unfeasible should the AI workload increase significantly? I mean, the, the good thing with Dell is it is configurable. Like for our AI workstations, it's, it's extremely scalable. Um, that's how it's designed to be. So if you're, again, it depends on who you are and what your what 
what you're planning to do, how you're planning to use AI. If you're an everyday knowledge worker, you probably will just need an, you know, your regular AI PC with the Intel Core Ultra processor, or if you just need some AI enhanced capabilities, for example, like the live translations I was talking about, you can absolutely, um, you can you can utilize the, the Copilot Plus PCs. But um, you can purchase based on, on, again, what you're planning to use to use it for. AI workstations are also extremely scalable and configurable. So you can, you know, discrete GPUs is 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 a good a good way to add on um, to add on and to to expand your expand your experience. And I think this one will be for Ryan um, or Marissa perhaps. So is 5G necessary for leveraging the full capabilities of AI PCs or can Wi-Fi alone be sufficient? Happy to share my perspective and then Marissa, if you, if you want to ch chime in. I, I, would say, I would say yes, it is because it ensures that no matter where you're where work is happening, you have secure connectivity. If you're in the office, you may not need 5G, right? If you're at home on a secure network, you may not need 5G. But for the times when you're not on a secure corporate or secure Wi-Fi network, those are the times where you need that capability, right? And if you're trying to get the full benefit of those AI applications, you're going to want connectivity on your device. So if you, if I mean, there definitely are use cases for people that are constantly on the go, but there's also backup connectivity. If you have intermittent travel, if you're going to the airport, if you're going to the soccer game, you want to take advantage of those capabilities. 5G is going to be the most secure, reliable network to make that happen. Yeah, I think Ryan, you touched on a great point. And the thing I, I think we forget to acknowledge is that every time Maria say, says cloud-based application, you had to get connected somehow. And so that's where, to Ryan's point, Verizon can help and 5G can help you get there. Um, and I, I see it's part of the broader story for one company. So not every user, to Ryan's point, within an organization may need, necessitate the need for a 5G connected PC, but there are entire user groups that can benefit for us. Um, within Verizon, we are actually deploying 5G laptops to our sales employees, as well as even our headquarters um, company employees because we are deploying a 5G private network on site to replace the need for Wi-Fi at all. So we, as we see companies deploy new office locations or uh, you know, new workspaces, Wi-Fi um, you know, and creating that secure company Wi-Fi is an expense all of it itself. And so having a 5G solution may be an alternative option for them. They can also enable that work from anywhere lifestyle on top of the in-office space solution. Yeah, and I know when I um, used to travel a long time ago and shamefully knowing what I do now, um, I would open my laptop and connect in an airport, in a cafe. I didn't think twice about whether that network was secure or not. And it took me ages to do so. So like, yeah, I'm the perfect, and I love my 5G PC. Um, I'm the perfect example of just a day-to-day -day person who can really benefit from it. Um, Cause yeah, the end users don't care as much about their security as the IT people do, right? Um, so I have another one. Um, what happens when I'm in an area with poor mobile network coverage? Does it affect AI performance? Inherently, it doesn't have to. Uh, as Maria has given examples of both on-device and cloud-based applications, those on-device ones are never going to be impacted by your, your connection, Wi-Fi or otherwise. Um, and that's where you know supplementing with Wi-Fi connectivity in a secured area um, is always going to be part of our story today. But we do see companies, as I mentioned earlier, trying to move away from Wi-Fi connectivity in general. So you know, mobile device management solutions have the ability to block Wi-Fi connections or at least um, only allow specific um, Wi-Fi locations to help balance that need for security with the need for connectivity in different work areas as well. And then we have, um, how much more does it cost to get 5G on a PC? So I guess the quick answer is it depends. 
Um, you can, if you scan the middle link, I believe Michelle, keep me honest, that'll point you to our connected PC landing page where you can start to see, uh, we have a variety of options. I believe we have over 17 different platforms that offer that option to upgrade to 5G. Um, speaking with your Dell sales rep, you, you'll, they'll be able to talk through options on the configuration and how to get kind of the, the best deal and price point for you. Absolutely. And on the wireless plan side, Verizon has business unlimited plans for laptops starting at as low as $20 a month. We are running a free trial right now when you subscribe with our start unlimited plan where you can get th uh, three months of service free. Um, but at the end of the day, our sales reps can help in getting the right price plan for your business. Uh, so as Dell sells the hardware, we will help you get connected at the end of the day. And I think that's a, probably a great way to round off this discussion with only a couple of minutes left. Um, I'm not seeing any more questions coming through for the panelists. So if there is nothing else, I would just like to thank everybody for their time today. Really appreciate you joining. Um, we will be sending out a survey after we finish. Um, it would be great to know from you guys whether this was it met your expectations, whether you would like some more technical information, was this too technical? Do you have any suggestions for further content you would like to hear from us? We always want to bring you what you want to hear and what you've been asking for. So please keep your eye out for our post event survey. Um, so thank you again to our panelists. Thank you everyone for joining today. I hope you have a great rest of your day or evening and hopefully we'll see you again soon.